In section 4.1, we're going to talk about triangles and more specifically uh, the triangle sum conjecture. And that is that the sum of the interior or inside angles of a triangle equals 180 degrees. So down below, you'll notice that we have three angles, X, Y, and Z. And if you add up all three of these angles, we see that they total 180 degrees, which is kind of exemplified with some numbers in the next triangle to the right. So for example, 110, 50, and 20 all added together total 180. Just one example of what a triangle might look like on the inside. In our second slide, what we know is that if two angles from one triangle are equal to two angles from a second, then the remaining angles have to be equal. So in this particular slide, we can see that the top angle 50 degrees matches up with the top angle 50 degrees, that the bottom left angle is 110, and the bottom left triangle, bottom left angle, excuse me, is 110 degrees. That means that my remaining angles, whatever they are, angle Z, and angle C must be equal to each other. And we could actually find out what that total sum would be if we took the 180 degrees we know exists inside of a triangle, subtracted off the 110 degrees for the green angle, the 50 degrees for the orange angle, which would then leave us with 20 degrees for both angle Z and angle C. So the big idea is that inside of a triangle, the total angle measurement adds up to 180 degrees. And if you know two angles from one triangle and two angles from another, then the third angles must be congruent.